you're injured here 3v3 Meridian High City Blue Team it's Vitoko plays a force commander very good offense fights in melee combat can also tank disrupt and support with buffs alongside noisy five-time monthly Roomba tournament winner plays an inquisitor offensive commander lots of great control a little bit of support as well begins in melee combat rounding off the blue team the holy darkness is an elder farseer support commander that fights in melee combat lots of great buffs with some debuffs and crowd control too red team em7 is a war boss very angry melee commander walk through objects some very good offense disruption and support from the front lines going in amongst the dire avengers got a special attack though and Cyrus alongside is a Raffina Alpha. Tunneling Commander with great mobility can also put out some good damage. Starts off range combat with a little bit of support as well. And rounding off the teams is a Guxis as a Chaos Lord. Durable and destructive commander walks through objects and cannot be suppressed on very good offense and disruption. Fights mainly in melee combat. Looks like he's rocking the Night Lord's elite scheme. Some pretty awesome looking kill space frames there. Orcs pushing through on the Eldar player might be able to decap that natural victory point even. multi Tori up mid from Noisy has double Guardsman and a Sentinel. Vitoko with a Tactical Marine Squad and Scouts. Chaos Lord pushing against them though and here come Heretics and this is going to be nasty. There's that Doom Blast suppressing both of those squads. Poor play from Vitoko. Could have, should have kept them moving and turning to engage. Kept moving back, turning to engage over and over again. But as it is, he's completely forced off. Bomagorn's trying to decap now. Double termagants for Cyrus. Right into a warrior brood. And he might be doing that because he wants the Barb Strangler up quickly. Up against these double dire Avengers here. Sluggers and double shooters for EM7. So pretty standard openings for all the players in terms of their build orders. Here's a Ravenna Tunnel going up. Going to be taken down pretty quickly I would think. The Sentinel could just walk over in fact. Sentinel is moving up, there's some repairs going in and blue team pushing against the red and forcing them off. Here you see the Holy Pyre from the Holy Brazier of the Inquisitor gives her a power weapon and that Holy Pyre really is some decent area denial there. Lasts a long time as you can see, I think it's 20 or 30 seconds even. 500, 462. Chaos Lord transition into the mid. But he's getting shot up by Elastaric. Some decent piercing damage output from this thing. There's Hammer of the Witches and he's forced off. Just pushed in the wrong area at the wrong time. We have double shotgun scouts from Vitoko. That's pretty interesting to see. Eguxis does have noise marine so we might see him try and push against the natural power which is pretty difficult on Meridian but he does have noise marines and he can push them up with corn worship as you see here. Scouts attempting to decap. Those Marines do, well, they do really do a lot of damage with that Sonic Blaster. Tactical Marines without a Flamer, but they are bashing power there with their Bolters kicking off in the south. Really good stomp it looks like the Sentinel got and is forcing off all of this stuff. And we do see a Barb Strangler from Cyrus Rangers now on the way for Holy Darkness. His Guardian team just about getting away there. Looks like he was forced off by the Orcs just before Noisy came in. 500, 421. Needs to be careful here. Warboss and double shooters in behind Noisy. Gonna get the Hammer of the Witches on the Warboss. Yes, waits for him to charge, but he doesn't get it off in time. Warboss charged right into the Inquisitor. He's gonna use it again, probably. There it is, Hammer of the Witches. 100 damage, I think it is, and a hard stun. Now he's gonna try and tie up the shooters who are shooting the crap out of these guards on but he stays in play long enough for the holy darkness to come back into play em7 doing well backing away not did a panic retreat out of that holy fire there just backed away stays in the engagement and he can be reinforced by the tyrannus now as you can see as double shooters did in play war boss was forced off though north some corn worship some capping going on chaos lord being incredibly annoying and forcing off tactical marines and then retreats out. Raptors on the field for Oguxis. Really good tier 1 build this. I love to use it myself. Kill space marines, noise marines and raptors. 500, 379. Shuriken again a bit too close gets caught. Barb Strangler hits nothing. 
Wow, rain just wiped out. Seriously, that was a really bad loss from the Holy Darkness. Heavy weapon squad for the Imperial Guard of Noisy with that heavy bolt of it covering this VP. They still have the middle. Red have basically not come here whatsoever. Guards have been caught by warriors and double shooters. That's a pretty nasty combo being suppressed by the Barb Tangle and shot to pieces by orcs. Hammer of the Witches. No, Palu I thought he was going to try and hammer those warrior brood and try and get a model. Forced off. Here come double scouts from Vikoto getting way too close there. Oh, they're being followed by all of this chaos stuff and there's some pawn worship raptors jumping in on the tactical marines suppressing them and that is a lot of damage noise marines coming in as well with their sonic blaster it's really painful down goes the multi-last turret force commander forced off so that was a really bad decision by Bakoto. did not Realized the chaos was coming in before it was too late and lost the scout squad 500 331 tier 2 for everyone the toko already there and getting a tactical marine squad on the field so he's gonna have double tax against raptors and noise marines not sure why he would go for that but we're gonna see power harass here from our is so rare to see on meridian and can be really damaging to your team but it's hard to hit your enemy back Gonna get at least one generator here. You would think he's gonna wipe the whole thing because Vakoto's slow coming back out. He has a sergeant on his tactical marines. Needs to get some plasma guns up or something. He's going for stern guard, which is an odd one. Heretics mainly used as worship support here. Takes down only one of the generators, really. And now noisy coming in. There's the doom blast. Needs to retreat those guys out. And does get them away. Guards are also getting away. The Noise Marines being chased down by the Inquisitor. And here comes the Koto to support 500. 328. Red team, I think, on the whole, having the better of the engagement slightly. It's been a bit lopsided, though. M7, EM7 struggling a little bit. Only has double shooters. Getting some stick bombers in tier 2. Zoanthrope on the way for Cyrus. But the red team having to make up some VPs here. Down goes the Chaos Lord. Of course, Quanda needs to run away there. There we go. Now, Guxis, you need to be careful here. There's a grenade taking out two models. Talk about overstaying your welcome. Might have been worth him just straight up retreating out. He actually held together pretty reasonably well there. Since he was up against Vatoko and Noisy. Pretty reasonably. Yes, we'll go with it. 481-328. Zone throw with the capillary tower alongside Ravana Alpha getting the synapse aura for damage has a warrior brood with Bob Fangler still there's the gravity blade levitation field from the farce he has spirit stones also stun bombs thrown in followed by stick bombs maybe 466328 kicking off in mid blue team trying to push against a whole mass of Xenos here and retreating out is the Stern God veterans. Manticore on the field for Noisy. Warboss in retreat. Razor back on the way for, for the Toko. The best choice he's made so far, I think. Thunder Hammer is up on that Force Commander, as I'm sure you've seen. Zone throw artillery piece for Tyranids. Does not need to set up bang, and that's what it does. Also supports your backline troops with that health regeneration aura and can snare vehicles this first manticore strike is going to be important storm eagle it's called to manually target these four rockets 438-328 and he could get a really bad hit there bad for the red team in a way 434-328 red team pretty dominant but I don't think they're pushing enough but Toko's done very little so far I must say he's loading in his dragon fire rounds for some reason, 426-328. They could be pushing power here. We shall make it so. Perhaps should be. EM7 with a death dread on the field. Warboss goes down. Does not have any anti-vehicle whatsoever. This death dread is going to cause all sorts of havoc. He needs to run away. What is he doing? 
here come some stick bombers to support and there is a really nicely timed psychic storm right lance is up Deathrite is going to continue to chase this thing down note 407 328 red team dominating the mid capillary towers up all over the place a tunnel there as well and blue team struggling Salt Marines on the field for Vokoto, Vitoko even, those massive retro jump packs. Tier 3 for EM7, Zone Throat getting shots on the Little Eldar, for in retreat by Formagorts, and there's the first that I've seen, Storm Eagle, well dodged by Red Team, they split very well there. And well, it hit the zone throat, but hit absolutely nothing else. I don't think 387, 328. Raptors trying to cap mid. They do have their aspiring champion who now gets, of course, that awesome power fist and a melter pistol. Assault Marines fighting. Just Space Marines here. There's that Sonic Blaster. Merciless Strike used on a single model. We do have Plasma Gun, Tactical Marines. Big chunks of plasma damage coming out of this thing. 383328 3, 2 to 1 cap for the red team. Continue to look pretty comfortable here. Assault is in retreat. Kraken rounds loading in for the Stone Guard veterans. Good damage versus heavy and super heavy infantry. What are they switching to? Vengeance rounds are trying to take down this Death Dread. I'll put some kind of pressure on it. Raptors going to town though. Ouch. Took down. A 21 red for killing the Stone God Veteran, a really good Manticore Strike killed a whole bunch of Termigants, but both of these guys with the Endless Swarm, up to 10 models. Flash gets on the way for EM7 Blood Crusher, pretty late here for Aguxis, and Tier 3 for the Holy Darkness. Stormtroopers called in for Noisy, because he's happy to stay Tier 2 for the moment, 349. 328 2 ton cap for the red team. They've been very slowly chipping away. Should have put a bit more pressure on, I think. Should have put more pressure on either the VP or the power of both. Don't think they've I don't think they realize how 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 well they were doing. Warboss smacking on the farce here has spiky armor and angry bits. Not sure why he has spiky armor. There's no, basically no melee on the Imperial Guard or the Eldar rosters at the moment. Maybe he just wants that extra health regen. Three, three, four, three, two, eight. Manticore Strike hits very little again. I think he's got one good hit and the two not so good ones. Three, three, four, three, two, three. Blood Crusher, what is he up to? There we go, fighter. Trying to load their vengeance rounds in, but he's not going to let them fire. And they get a model here. Tanking the Blood Crusher pretty well with that. They shall know no fear. There's the Demonic Raw Melter Bomb. Is available for the Assault Squad. Can they throw it on? Are they going to bother? There it is. Can they chase it down now? Plasma Gun Tactical Marine Squad. There is the Melter going off. What are these heretics up to here? Need to be back and worshipping. Raptors will jump. The Stone Guard veterans, they're going straight after the Assault Marines, in fact. Where's the worship? No worship for this Blood Crusher. It's still alive, though. Most of the strike and retreat from the Assault Marines. Tactical Marines also in retreat, and Stone Guard veterans also in retreat. 334, 302. Again, not the best play there from Vitoko. What is this? Auto cannon mid from Noisy. These things are pretty nuts, especially if you double them up, which he doesn't have. No sign of any bunkers up here either. Tier 3 for Vitoko, double flash kits for EM7, and Tier 3 for Aguxis. Flash kits with hell of a lot of DACA, begin with Snaz guns, which are basically pimped out shooters. Lots and lots of piercing damage, but they can also get blasters, which are incredibly painful to heavy and super heavy infantry. See, so council doing quite well there for Holy Darkness. Really well, in fact. Soaked up a lot of damage and forced off the orcs. Can he bash power? Can he put some pressure on his power? Is he even going to try it? 
Here comes the War Boss, level 2, and he's pretty freaking angry right now. Red dominating mid. Capillary Towers all over the place, and Sonic Blaster on the way for the Noise Marines. And here's a Shrine to Corn being worshipped. It's going to pop out some blood letters every few seconds. And give a damage buff to Aguxis's stuff. A 10% damage buff. Stick bombs thrown in. There's the... What is it called again? Spiritual Rites. There we go. The ability from Spirit Stones. Healing all that stuff. 273. 302. He needs to be very careful here. Holy Darkness. Very, very careful. There's a charge. Levitation field. Seer Council need to run away, I think. Run away. Here comes the Death Dread with burners and bits. Right last getting shots in. Down goes the Farseer. Stayed in this engagement way, way, way too long. Seer Council down to three models. Bang. Smack. Can he get another one? He can get another one. Down to one model, in fact. 252. 302. Mid is going to turn blue, is it? He did garner a lot of attention there. Holy Darkness, which took the pressure off mid. And are they going to be able to cap? Here come Tactical Marines to cap with that 50% faster cap and trade. What Blastmaster gets shots. Bang. Ouch. That was a square hit. I think on all four models there. Need to deal with this thing. One more hit. They retreated just in time, I think. Raptors have to replace their Scrying Champion. Look at the damage from his double assault kit. Stormtroopers and they wipe out the Raptors with double grenades on retreat. Nicely done. Quite noisy. Warrior Brood getting that Barb Strangler shot in. What was that? Was that a let the galaxy burn? Where's the... Oh, Chaos Lord went down. He just started it off. And only got a couple of those fireballs out, I think. Double blasters now for the flash kits. Do they have their git finders as well? I'm not sure. Does it give I think it gives a plus decorator if they do. 241302. Couple of decent engagements there for Blue Team. Can they keep this pressure up though? Predator tank on the way for Vitoko. Bunker is up and it's a medical bunker. You can see the health regeneration aura and all this infantry would allow them to reinforce. Affects your allies as well. Raven Alpha getting a nice revive for him. Level 5, Cross of Devourer regenerates and Synapse Aura for damage. Has a Swarm Lord and a Venom Brood. Aguxis looking pretty thin, but he is into tier 3. Noisy with another heavy weapon squad. We might see double auto cannons here, or he might be just getting a last cannon because he's seen this Swarm Lord. Man to go strike mid. Force the Ravenet Alpha off the cap. No, he continues capping. He's close enough to continue capping and finishes the cap there. Wow, double blasters going mad. Look at that on those guardsmen. Poor little guardsmen. Avatar misses the Wailing Doom, actually hits an allied Inquisitor. Holy Darkness, Seer Counselor still back at base here. Avatar going after the Swarm Lord. He should be going after the Venom Brood here. Did he get... I don't know what he got for his other heavy weapon squad. This one has the auto cannon, but this one does have a last cannon smack. Gets a shot on the Swarm Lord, which snares its movement and allows this other stuff to come into play. Doesn't have any other AV though apart from that auto cannon and I suppose the Manticore. That Blastmaster is really annoying. He needs to jump in. He has Vanguard Veterans now. There's a jump. And these guys in trouble. But Bloodlet is there to defend. Really good play and positioning from Aguxis. Merciless strike there. Vanguard Veterans. Yeah, forced off by those Bloodletters. What nicely done. Beamy Death Gun Looters up. Not entirely sure why. Maybe they should shoot down this Avatar. Ouch. Again, these tactical marines getting hit really hard by the Blastmaster. Powerful up for the war boss, but it goes down. Candy Stone God Veterans finish the cap. There's an Imperial Abyss from Aguxis. Now has a land raid of Phobos on the field. 197302. Actually says that he has two of them, but that's just a bug. He only has one Phobos. Here it is. Gonna bring it mid for that massive amount of fire support. They still have a Death Dread here at EM7, almost level 3. 
Not sure what this avatar is trying to do. Those blasters doing huge amounts of damage to the super heavy infantry armor that the avatar has. He's going to lose this thing. Why did he push it in? Noisy telling him to bring it back, but he doesn't. Not sure what he's trying to achieve there. And he loses it. Need to be careful on this map. You need to keep your strength mid late game. Overextend his death. Is that Phobos? It still says there's two on the roster. Sort yourself out. Holy Darkness is a little way off getting his Eldritch Storm going. He probably used a bunch of red to get the Seer Council on the field. Still level 1. 197302. Have the flash kits leveled up? No. Oh, one of them has. Level 2. Massive standoff now. Terminator's on the field for Batoko with the awesome Cyclone Missile Launcher. That thing really hurts. Marines capping the north. Might put some pressure on his VP as well. Noise Marines are covering it though. Phobos pushing alongside Tyranids and Orcs and there's a Throne of Formation. That was pretty nasty. 197-302. Red team in the ascendancy here. There's a Manticore. Smack. Should he get another one up? Does he even have the population to do so? He does. Knob Squad now on the way for EM7. And a Chaos Predator for Aguxis. There is that Dirge Caster. A bunch of Eldar standing around here. Not sure what they're up to. Need to back away. Hit by the Barb Strangler and there's a retreat. Phobos is blocking their path. Farsi level 4 now has Armory Asurum which is going to help out quite a lot fighting this big blob I think. Double Stormtroopers level 3 and level 2. Matoko is pushing against the VP. Well done to him. Force Monas level 3 has Artificer and a Teleporter Pack. Swarmlord coming into play now. Ripping apart Vanguard veterans. Good grief. They need to run away. There we go. And the Chaos Lord with the Blood Maul. Armored Inferno and Demonic Massage. Debuffing all of this stuff. I think it's a 15% debuff yet. 179299. Batoko took the VP though. Chaos Predator again. Shots all the while. Terminators now need to back away. There is the Sucker Missile Launcher. Getting a few missile hits on the Swarm Lord. And they teleport out. Some pawn worship over there. Capillary towers all over the place. Shooter boy is getting shot to pieces. He's going to lose them. Guards on level 4 run away. Stormtroopers starting to get close to level 4. They're going to be incredibly dangerous. The Inquisitor level 6. Holy Brazier. Excruciators and the Servo Skull. Servo Skull allows her to. What is it called? Force spec scan. You can reveal targets for your Manticore. 173, 296. Red team take the natural back. They have the 2 to 1. It's going to be really hard for blue team to push it. Fire Prism on the way for Holy Darkness. Tier 3 for Noisy. Had a really heavy tier 2, but now he's into tier 3 and he has tons and tons of power saved up. He's a thousand wreck for a Bane Blade. Will he even get a Bane Blade? We will see. Knob Squad moving in. There is Time Field from the Farsia and Levitation Field. Nicely played from Holy Darkness. Can he get the Farsia out there alive though? Manticore Strike as well. 148-296. Rocket Runner. That is going to be devastating. Ouch. 142-296. Double zone throats for Cyrus. Still has his Swarm Lord as well. A bit odd that he didn't go straight for some more carn effects and stuff. I guess he wants that long range zone throat action in mid. Red team's natural under a bit of pressure here. Blue team have their natural nicely showed up. Very little pressure on his VP really since the start of the game when the York pushed it early on. Seem to be obsessed with just killing stuff mid. Just come and cap this. Fire Prison moving in. Phobos. 
I've been sitting in back mostly, which is good, I think. Keep it back here. Anything comes close to try and cap. Shoot the crap out of it and stun it. Ouch. Terminators really don't like this Phobos. Those l big last cannon shots. Taking big chunks of health and he lost a the model there. 108296. Another Manticore for Noisy in tier 3. He might try and take that Phobos out with a double Manticore strike right on its face. There's the two Zonethropes alongside the Swarm Lord. Venom Brood coming towards the north now. 98296. Blue team in big trouble. Can they push against this? Holy Darkness suggesting a Bane Blade, not a Manticore. 89296 would have taken a very long time to get a Bane Blade on the board. Last Master getting shots. Can he cap mid? Not with those guys, he can't. Might be able to decap with the Inquisitor who's level 7. We might see her get her mandate later. She's going to go down here. Down she goes. Stick bombs thrown in. 77296. Dirge Caster goes off. Blue team desperately trying to cap mid or at least decap it. Again, Vatoko got some pressure on the natural. He takes down the Chaos Predator there. Power Fist Force Corner now, level 5. Land Raider's going to go down. Nicely done. It will be taken down by that Bright Lance, I think. It was the Fire Prism, in fact, that got the last shot. Time Field Manticore combo. Nicely done by a blue team. And they're capping mid. They're starting to creep back into this game. Vanguard Veterans jumping. Seer Council debuffed by... What are they debuffed by? Was that the Dirge Caster still debuffing them? Oh, it's a Chaos Lord with his Demonic Visage. 59-296 for Toko now putting pressure on. All of a sudden, Red Team in huge amounts of trouble. Aguxis lost a large chunk of his army. Here comes some Chaos Terminators. Forcing melee combat on the Stone Guard. Veterans level 4 though. They are tanking that like crazy. And Cyrus getting a Carnifix up, finally. EM7 still has double flash kits and a knob squad. And a pretty pissed off Warboss level 3 in retreat. And blue team. Can they get a quick triple cap here? Take their natural back. Looks like the Warboss just decapped it. Chaos Terminator is getting some kills, forcing them off, demoralizing them on kills, as you can see there. And now they have Lightning Claws. 55276. Toko, you need to back off. You've done well, but don't lose all your stuff. Good grief, how scary are these lightning claws? It's another time field. He's trying to finish off the Swarm Lord, is he? He's going to be forced off. Swarm Lord lives. Don't overextend, Holy Darkness. Trying to move up his right lance. That's a good place to put it, covering both approaches. Not quite covering this one. The Pluri Tower's all over the place here. Here comes a Carnifex, he's going for the Venom Cannon. I would have gone for the Thornback, just charge it in to these back lines and try and take out those Manticores. There's that Levitation Field, Holy Darkness alongside Noisy, keeping the pressure up, just trying to keep Red Team away from the VP in mid. 55-232, just trying to buy themselves some time, oh my goodness. Manticore Strike just wiped out the Terminators with excruciators on them assail that is nasty since you can't retreat the terminators out of assail that really just puts them into a terrible position for a manticore strike that might have been a double manticore strike and that just whaps his terminators off the map inferno pistol on the way fine effects getting massive shots on the fire prism knob squad flanking it and down it goes Eldred Storm on a central VP, just trying to stop them from capping. Ravenna Alpha is level 8, this guy. Here come Terminators from Vitoko coming back to the mid. Seems to be a bit slow coming out of his base, Vitoko, once he's forced off. Might be just because he's big, fat, slow space runs, that's why. Can he push against the VP again? I think he can. He's clear there, he, doesn't, he might not know it. Is he going for it? He's not. Aguxis getting another Phobos. I mean, that Terminator loss was pr was pretty damn unlucky. Nothing he could do about it. Double Manticore is just perched up there, ready to strike. 
55 212. That's one of the big downsides of Terminators. You can't retreat out of stuff like that. Especially when you're stunned. Anytime you're snared, you can just take it. Storm Eagle misses everything but forces the Tyranids to back off a little bit. Glassmaster continues to get shots, hit terrain there. Motoko loses his opportunity to push against the VP, I think. Or maybe not. Jump it. You're going to jump in? No, just run straight into it. Smack. He's gone for the Power Fist on his Vanguard veterans. Level 3 Vanguard. Swarm Lord there to counter initiate. Front of Formation going off. And the Farseer pushing against Orcs here. She's level 6. How much damage does the Gravity Blade do in melee? I wonder how much better it is from her default weapon. Seer Council going to town, forcing off Stick Bombers, almost finishing them off, in fact. Ard Boys on them right at the end. A 55 208. Here's the second Phobos. And a really late game Blood Crusher from Aguxis EM7. Needs to buy something. What is he waiting for? Has almost a thousand rec. Ooh, getting close to 600 power. Get some looted tanks or a battle wagon or something on the field. Another Carnifex for Cyrus. EM7 making a massive mistake here, not buying anything. He's under pressure as well from the Eldar. He's got to purchase something. Aguxis has a nuke ready. His Imperial Abyss Noisy can also use his rocket run again. Blue team in control now. They are in control. They've done it. They've turned this around. But can they hold on? Another kind effect is coming. Surely it's going to be a thorn back. Here comes the Avatar of Kane. Sink kill on a Venom Brood model. Throws it aside. Needs to be careful. Doesn't want to lose it like it did the first one. Some buildable cover going up. With the Toko keeping the pressure on this VP a little bit. He should go after it a bit more aggressively, I think. Blue team losing a natural knob squad are going to take it. 55 169. Need to be careful, this kind of thing. Hard boys up. Buff from the war boss. And they finished the cap. Here comes the avatar who took tons of damage. Carnifex and Swarm Lord need to get away. Really need to get away. One more shot. Oh, down goes the Swarm Lord. Wow, Bright Knights, I think, finished it off. But does not get away. 44. 169 red team with the 2 to 1. But Toko needs to go after that VP. He's trying to turn around and take on this Blood Crusher here. There is Flesh Over Steel. It's a dead Blood Crusher. Doesn't need his entire army to do that though. 34, 169. Blue team running out of VPs. Can't even take their natural back here. But Toko needs to push. He needs to push the VP. I think he's going to do so, is he? 26. 169. Predator tank on the way for Motoko. EM7 purchased nothing still. Look how much resources he has. Nob Squad needs to run. There we go. Repurchasing their Nob Leader there and they back the hell off. 21. 169. EM7 still not purchasing anything late game. It's floating like crazy. Massive, massive mistake. Might cost his team here. 21-169. Can Blue Team get their natural back? Massive pressure here onto it. Thornback Carnifex is on the field. Judgment is up on it. That's going to do 300 damage if he can get through the 20 seconds close enough to it. Charging after these double Stormtroopers, both level 4, have killed an ungodly amount of stuff. Here comes the Avatar. Thong Black Carnivex will have that melee resistance aura, of course. Is he moving in for judgment? Don't think he can use it when he's in time field. 21-169. Doesn't get it off. Blue team taking a natural back. Missile launcher getting shots on the Carnivex Vitoko. Choosing to hold firm mid instead of pushing against the VP there. EM7 finally purchases something, gets another Nob Squad on the field, and another Carnifex on the way. Gonna be a mad finish. 
Phobos, pretty low on hit points. Cyclone Missiles are really good versus Land Raiders. Such a large target. E really easy to hit stuff. Manticore's not doing a whole lot, but did keep this stuff pegged back. Carnifex number three on the field. What is he going to get for that thing? This Chaos Predator is not going to last long. It just about lives. This is a dead Predator tank. Uh, Phobos, I should say, is it? Time field is up. And there's the Cyclone Missile Launcher. Doesn't quite hit it, though. Hits terrain. Oh! And there's an Imperial Abyss. Waps out the Fire Prism and forces off all of those Marines. That was a really good Abyss from Aguxis. Phobos goes down. Seer Council, I think, finishing it off. 21. 1, 3, 5. It's a 2 to 1 caps blue team. They are holding on here. Triple kind effects is double knobs, double flaskets. That's pretty scary, and he's going to lose his avatar again. Down goes that Chaos Predator. Last kind of Predator dealing with it. War Truck on the way for EM7. That's actually a pretty good choice. Allowing him to reinforce in the field. Aguxis has really struggled since he lost those Terminators and that Phobos in mid there. Eldritch Storm. Really nicely played from Holy Darkness. Killed a whole bunch of flash kits, in fact. Completely wiped out one of the squads and almost wiped out the other one. Really good nuke there. 21-102. Double cap. Farseer trying to finish the cap. Can she do so? Fighting Heretic. She does the levitation field and finishes the cap. Beautifully done. There's a the triple for blue team. I think they've won this now. Surely they have. Force commander has gained a level. And Heretic is getting owned. Force Commander, smack. Order. Level 8. Farseer, level 9 at the end. Inquisitor, level 10 and down. Triple cap for the blue team. The march of the Carnifex is now. Where's the third one? Back at base, the Thornback. He has a Barb Strangler, a Venom Cannon, and a Thornback. Venom Proof trying to cap, but Manticore's on hand to stop that kind of thing. Blue team surely have this. Red team will take the natural back, but it's not going to be enough. Fitoko perhaps should have kept the pressure on there. I don't think he knows how little Aguxis has. Could have just sat on that VP and held it. So going back after it as a Predator tank. 21-16, there's the double cap. Carnifex is backing off, and Red team have run out of steam completely. EM7 really, really late getting an extra squad on the field at the end of the game there. Really, really late, and there's the victory for Blue. They turned it around with some cheeky Assail and Manticore combo from Noisy, wiping out his Terminator. That was really, really tough on Aguxis, and he never really recovered from that. The Manticore's level 4 and level 2, a bunker, which was actually a medical bunker, not a repair bunker, supporting those Manticores. He does have a Bane Wolf that he dropped at the end of the game. Let's look at the commanders. Vitoko's Force Commander level 8, Power Fist, Artificer, and Teleporter Pack also had the Thunder Hammer, though. Noisy's Inquisitor had Holy Brazier and the Inferno Pistol, Excruciators, and the Servo Skull, wasn't it? Level 10, Farsi, and level 9 with Gravity Blade, Armored Assurian, and Spirit Stones. Holy Darkness started off a little bit shaky, but came through really strong at the end. Overextended his stuff a few times, lost two avatars deep in enemy territory but hey did really well at the end really good eldritch and he decapped red team's natural then war boss level 6 em7 making a big mistake in not purchasing things when he could have maybe got a bat wagon up and charged into the eldar lines and stuff like that level 10 ravenna alpha crosa devara regenerate and synapse aura how many models were killed in this game and a level 5 chaos lord blood maul Armory of Inferno and Demonic Facade was a really good build, I think. And until that Terminator loss, he was doing pretty well against Fotoko. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.